Hello guys, welcome to JavaScript how to series. As part of this video, I am going to show you how to create a basic drop down list using HTML and JavaScript and how to show selected city from the drop down list. Let's get started. I have the initial HTML and app.js created. As a first step, let's have a label with value select city and name attribute with value city and then I'm going to have a div so that we can have this drop down beneath the select city. To create the drop down list, we can use the select element in HTML. Select and to show the list of cities, we need to have the list of options. So we need to use the tag called option. And here we're going to provide the value that we are going to show. So Hyderabad is a label for this option and it should have some value. So that can be a city code or short name that you can give. So HYD I am giving for Hyderabad. Similarly, we can just copy paste this code and change the lab city names. So now we have created a basic drop down list using select statement and options, right? So here we have the list of cities. Now how to display the selected city? So whatever the city user selected that should be displayed on the screen. For that, let's have a paragraph element and give the ID selected city and let's take this and go to app.js and let's access this element let selected city so document dot query selector it is id so we have to use the hash and to show the selected city we have two approaches the first one is i am going to listen to the on change event of this select so the on change event will fire whenever we select a particular option here just have on change and we are going to call some function on select city so you can give any name and let's go and define this in javascript function on select city so here we are going to assign the selected city value to the select city paragraph so how to do that so for that we can simply pass the event from this on change event so event and let's access this in app.js so here let's access event before we assign the selected city value to select city let's print the event to the console so event dot target so here we have and just select Bangalore there we go it prints the entire select right Pune here we can see Chennai we can see to access the value you can simply use event dot target dot value now just press f12 and select a city from list now change it to bangalore now you can see that we got the value of option which is nothing but the code that we have assigned to the value attribute and if you change the pune we can see pune and chennai you can see chennai and hyderabad we get hyd nothing but short code of hyderabad but in selected city paragraph, we have to show the selected city name like Hyderabad, Bangalore, Pune or Chennai. So for that, we can make use of selected index. So whenever you select any option, the option will have the particular index given. Index starting from 0, like 0, 1, 2, 3. So now let's get the index of the selected value first. Say let index equal to, we have the select element, nothing but event dot target dot selected index print this selected index so now just change the value bangalore 1 hyderabad 0 pune and chennai let selected city name equal to so now we have the index now let's take this event at target which is nothing but our select element dot options we get all the options options of index dot text Bangalore, there we go, Pune, Chennai. Now it is simple to show the selected city in the paragraph. So select city dot inner HTML equal to selected city name. Cool. Now let's go Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune. So this is one of the way. And another way is we don't need to use always event dot target everything, right? So we can do in another way. Here I give name equal to again city id so here i give id let's city list and take this city list 
and access it in app.js let city list equal to document dot query selector city list and this time we don't need to use this event at target we can simply say city list and here also we can simply say city list and it should give the same output you don't need to pass any event from the HTML to JavaScript also. This way you can create a basic drop down list and show the selected city. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos.